Erie, about 700 or so, 800 miles away. So far, so good. Moving well. Says we're gonna get there around 3:30 in the morning. No biggie. We're trying to beat a storm, so let's stop talking and start driving. Made it to Troutsville, Boot, Boutorant County. Sure. Boutort. Boutort. I don't know. There's a sheriff there, so that's that's how we're finding this out. But in Virginia, about two and a half hours until we get to the Charlotte area. Got my wings in a can. We're about to fly away. Let's get it. Well, a feller and a fellette traveled about 700 or so miles today. We landed in about Charlotte ish North Carolina and then tomorrow we're gonna hopefully sleep through this storm right now and uh, wake up in the morning and dip to Bradenton Florida it's currently 4 17 in the morning we're gonna get some rest good night day two yesterday we spent the night in Charlotte wasn't too bad. Well, not the night. We spent four hours in Charlotte last night. Wasn't too bad. We're basically booking down to Florida. We have 900 miles. Or 478. I think it was 900 originally. Wasn't it? Oh. Something like that. Now we have 478. We got 477 about to go. We're going to need gas in about an hour. We got seven hours left. Doing pretty good on time. Hopefully we'll get into Florida a little bit before 7. Okay, so, so this is our little setup going on right now. First we got rolled up paper towels. We have some towels along the window. The cushions from that bench are up. So we're having issues with water. Camper's a little dirty. <laughs> Did you see? It? This is what I wiped off of my jacket in the parking lot. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. You don't need help or anything? No, no we're I just, do. <laughs> just doing stuff. <laughs> okay, <all right. laughs> Thank yeah, you. 
we know the Twibles. They, they let us park here for the night. We're not, oh, uh, okay. Right. Yeah, we're not just, yeah. I thought, like, maybe you're from No, Jersey. no. <laughs> we're, we're from Jersey, so we have to do some touch-ups. Oh. We, we gotta, this is like a stopping point in between. We're okay. only gonna be here for tonight. All right, well, no, don't worry. All right. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Sweet people around here. You don't have that. Yeah, no. Jersey, they're like, get out. Yeah, they're like, go die. <laughs> It's always good to have water dripping on you when you're silicone in a window. <laughs> Look at that corner. Just the corner though. You're a pro. Just look on at corners. The just the corner. Singular corners. <laughs> yeah, just that one. <laughs> They're a nice corner.
Now shut it off. Now let's shut it off. <laughs> Bad idea. Day five. We got uh, 641 miles to uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Maybe a little further. Since we're gonna land there around four with gas stops, probably like five, six. So. Yeah, we're gonna try to find a cracker barrel to stay the night at and hopefully eat at because the feller felt like could use a good meal right now. <laughs> Today's just gonna be a travel voyaging day, not really a see a bunch of stuff day. <laughs> While staying in Florida at the Freedom Factory, we ran into a few issues. Uh, one being that AC wasn't running off the generator because the starting capacitor was cooked. So we, thankfully, we had good neighbors in at the Freedom Factory, and they happened to have a spare and hooked it up and visiting Florida. Bye. <laughs> now, but basically, thankfully, they had the capacitor. We we're not sweating to death the whole time in Florida made it a little bit better. It was a little rainy the whole time we were there, so like the humidity and such, it, it just wasn't, it, it would have been awful without AC. Oh, da, 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 da. The unit's doing pretty well, staying straight, a little vibrating, but you'll have that on these big jobs. Um, this thing's doing pretty well on fuel so far, not well. But decent. It's getting about 10 miles to a gallon, not too bad. The tank, it's every four hours we gotta fill up and my left foot is down. So doing well. Hopefully we don't have to see you guys in a little bit for any road issues, but we're gonna keep booking. Hopefully we'll see you in Alabama. <laughs> Just went through time zones for the first time. <laughs> went an hour back, and now I'm depressed. Because we got an hour longer to travel than I thought. All right, so we just met this family. What's your name, guys? Hi, the walnuts. <laughs> call us the walnuts. We just met them in uh, yeah. northern Birmingham right now. <laughs> yeah, we're from LaGrange, Georgia. Yeah. But yeah, we just met them. There's their camper. Woo! What a day. Well, a fella and a fella had, uh, ran into some nice people. They, they brought some light to our day in a very negative time <laughs> of our day. Basically, we lost all running lights to the camper. We only had headlights and blinkers that barely worked. I, I'm not even sure if they worked on the trailer. The lights kept popping fuses and such along the way. Once we got into uh, the town a little north of Birmingham, we uh, stopped at a Cracker Barrel to look at it, figured out that we needed a new fuse, went to the auto zone, left my phone at the Cracker Barrel. In the parking lot. In the parking lot. Probably ran it over almost. Had to go back to the Cracker Barrel to get my phone after we got the one fuse. Which someone luckily brought inside after they found it. Not ruined. Yeah, thankfully. There's nice people in this part of town and they were able to return my phone to the inside of the Cracker Barrel. Shout out to them. We don't know who you are, but you made my vacation a little <laughs> less hectic than it already was. Basically, we had to yop the cab light wire, the power going to the cab light themselves because we think they're shorting out the light and blowing the fuses, which is never a good thing but basically i had to cut the wire in the auto zone parking lot to the cab lights because we feel like they that's what shortened the whole driving light system after i yop that they haven't blown we're on a 40 amp fuse now because i had two 40s and 120 and we're gonna save the 21. <sighs> yeah well that one was originally in well yeah it originally had a 20 in it, so I wanted to uh, kind of save the 20 in case could actually use it again. We fixed all the lights, 
shout out to my pops, gave him a call and he told me, just yop the cab lights, <laughs> just cut them, just cut them. So that's exactly what I did, I just cut them. I used that wire that I cut as a jumper wire to make sure that it wasn't gonna short after the cab lights were undone. But yeah, we got running lights. You can look in the rear view and kind of see them, right? Perhaps, yeah, I, I can see the little red one down at the bottom. Finally. So now, ho hopefully, we're gonna go to Cracker Barrel, eat, hopefully. It's 7.49, they close at, what did I say, nine o'clock? Yeah, it's 7.49, Cracker Barrel closes at nine o'clock. We've been driving for the last 10 hours and had issues for the last two. Um, we seem to run into that. Yeah, it's always good driving a camper that no one's ever really tested on a long trip like this. So now we're testing it. Great turn. Yeah, you know. Great that. turn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Day six. Woke up a little chilly this morning, North Birmingham area. Um, Heading to Nashville. About two hours till we get to Nashville. 120 something miles. Nice short drive today though. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finally got a short drive in the midst. And we're gonna do some festivities in Nashville. The camper we woke up this morning it didn't have it wasn't full of oil, it was just just touching the dipstick. So we uh, threw in a spit or two and uh, we're on the road. I woke up this morning, I heard it was like chattering a little bit. I was like, yeah, we better do something now before we're chattering on the side of the road <laughs> with no motor. Walking up to the Amazon thing now to get our magical part. We want to show you guys the process because we've never done this before, let alone knew it was a <laughs> thing at all. So. Oh, oh that's pretty sick. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Spent the night last night at a family friend's. Very nice people, great time last night. Hannah and I both got nice showers. Woke up early this morning, Hannah's still sleeping. But I'm gonna start bogging the Cadillac Ranch so we get some time to hang out there. On the road again. We're headed to Cadillac Ranch today. We're gonna check out the Cadillacs just jammed in the ground there. And then we're gonna hopefully make it to the Albuquerque area, maybe a little further depending. It's gonna take us about five hours from where we stayed last night to get to Cadillac Ranch. We're at four hours and 25 minutes now. 300 miles to go. And it's still sleeping.
<laughs> for lighter. He's gonna make us steaks tonight. There we go. Oh, Today we're cooking a steak in an Elks parking lot. now because Hannah doesn't want to wake up everyone at 8 30 and we have to be respectful <laughs> it's eight o'clock here's the old bay that's what we season the snake with <laughs> this is the old bay this is what we season the steak with <laughs> garlic salt garlic salt black pepper you know the deal brother and salt. I was gonna say it. Oh, no. No, you buy them at ShopRite. No, it's all McCormick, but. McCormick. McCormick. Sponsor me. <laughs> I could use a few steak seasonings. And Old Bay. Sponsor me. I love your seasonings. <laughs> I use that sh on everything. Landed in Albuquerque today. Very nice area at this Elks here. We're just parked up with a bunch of other RVs. Very genuine people all around. I haven't really talked to these people, but I, I'm sure they're genuine people. Eating steaks inside. Cooked our meals on that RVQ grill. You know the deal. Over off in the distance. Let that cool off before we put it away, but Good day overall, met some new people, friendly people. Just a great experience overall. We're gonna go chow down on some steaks and edit this video for you guys to have it out there in the morning. We appreciate all the support. We wouldn't be in Albuquerque, New Mexico without you guys. It means the world to us. Day eight, started in uh, Albuquerque Elks. Met great people, great time. But now we're chugging along. We're gonna stop in Winslow, Arizona. You know the deal, brother. Staying on the corner, Winslow, Arizona. Hopefully we're gonna stay in Kingman tonight. Kingman. Hopefully we're gonna stay in Hopefully we're gonna stay in Kingman tonight in a cracker barrel and then chooch up to Vegas tomorrow. Very nice. Let's get moving. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> a fella and a fellette landed in Kingman area today. Well, hopefully gonna sleep in this cracker barrel. Should be just fine. Today we visited the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Meteor Crater as well. Both very nice places to see. Meteor Crater was something we weren't expecting at all. Blew our minds. We got to Kingman area a little early so we can relax. Maybe get some sleep in. And then tomorrow we're going to dip off to Vegas. Woke up this morning in Kingman. Slept pretty well. A little noisy but what could you expect at a Cracker Barrel right on the highway. Today we're... Voyaging to 
Vegas. We got short drive. We're gonna have a, a campsite to actually go to and wash up and enjoy Vegas. Let's get on the road. We gotta charge this GoPro. It's a little dead. Hen and I made it here to Vegas from Kingman, Arizona. Wasn't too bad of a trip. Nice light drive. We planned that for today. Here, getting all set up behind me. We have full hookups. A very nice campground. Campers cooked. Full hookups. Very nice. Too much hose. You know the deal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Welcome back. Day 10 of our month-long excursion across the country. Day two in Vegas. This morning we woke up at a decent time to do an oil change on the Tioga. Went swimmingly to say the least. And now it's getting rather warm. So we're about to hop in the pool. We're gonna give you our day experience here in Vegas. <laughs> Stay tuned. It's hot. Surprisingly, the hot tub in Nevada, even though it's 90 something degrees, is probably only like 60. I wouldn't hop in there thinking it's 90 plus. The pool was rather chilly too on a day that's going to reach 90 plus. There's at least 50 or so degrees in that pool, probably less. Very surprising, very surprising. Thanks for watching our day 10 full Vegas experience video. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video. Day 11, Hannah and I woke up at a decent time, showered, got ready, and hopped on the road. We're bugging. We got a, a good journey ahead of us. We're going to go through the rest of Nevada, touch California, just tickle California. And then we're shooting up through Oregon. We might have to hit Washington tonight, depending on this storm that's rolling in. Might be getting some snow. Not trying to drive in the camper through a snowstorm. I'm crazy, not that crazy. So, we're gonna drive until the snow starts, sleep through it, wake up, and continue going up to Washington. Foot to the floor, we're moving along decently. We're in Cali right now. Hoping we can make it past this storm or get into a decent spot in Oregon, mid-Oregon, before the storm starts. These are the kind of roads we're driving on. Not really quality roads for what we're doing in a camper with a trailer. Not fun. So hopefully we can get out of this road, back road, garbage before it gets dark and we can't see. Let's pray. Almost 8.30. We're pulling up to the storm almost. Hopefully we get on that main highway. What was the main highway? 97. Hopefully we get to 97 before it starts so we can have a safer place to pull over. Around here doesn't look like a great place to really stop for the night. Welcome back to the channel. Day 12. We're here in, we're here in Oregon. Very cold, very windy, very snowy. You gotta clean this pig off and we're gonna hop on the road, get as far as we can today. Let's go. Just cruising along. Road conditions before, not good. That's why I didn't record anything. Right now they're kind of dry, not too bad. The only downside to driving right now is the wipers are just not there like just poop poop wipers I can't see that's like right at my eye line nice so maybe we'll use our donors donations and uh throw new wipers on this so driving's a little less hectic yeah, like what is that what is that day 13 short driving day heading up to Spokane Hopefully, we're gonna get there in about an hour or so. We're gonna make a few stops along the way and uh, check in is about one o'clock. So we should roll in there. Decent time, decent time. Take it easy, very nice. Pulling 
up to our campground in uh, Spokane area, Spokane area, whatever it is. Gonna be there in about five minutes. Gonna give you guys a little look-see at this campground. It sounds pretty nice to start, and it's attached to a casino, so hopefully we can walk out with something. Landed at our campsite at a decent time today. We got the electric all hooked up and uh, we hooked up the sewer as well. We don't have the water hooked up because I didn't bring my heated hose and it might be just a tad too chilly to just keep the water running. So we're just going to put in the holding tank, fresh water tank, until we need it. And then if we need it, we'll just run the water pump off the plug-in power that we're on as of now. Doing laundry here at this nice casino resort in out just outside of Spokane. Of course, the lady that used the washer before us used all three washers and then all three dryers. And the dryers took 30 minutes longer than the washer. So needless to say, we're waiting a little bit for our wash. And then we're going to hop in that casino and hopefully make some money back from this trip. Hopefully we'll be able to give you guys an inside look at the casino nightlife that we're going to experience. Hopefully nothing crazy happens besides cha-chain winning. Miller and a fellette just went to town on some sushi. Woo! Got, very, very good. We got seven rolls. Yeah, seven yeah. different rolls for 50, 60 bucks. Really not bad. We spent less on sushi than we did on the buffet. And it's cold. We're not used to this Washington climate and we are freezing. So we're gonna get on the road, get this thing warmed up so the heat starts blasting on us. We'll see it. <laughs> Before going out on the road, you gotta make sure to have a well-balanced meal for breakfast. Hannah's got her eggs, you know the deal. <laughs> Bought them off a of buddy, very good eggs. Cheese bread small sage you know the deal what's in here nothing <laughs> nice nice halfway through the trip Hannah and I got all of our clothes laid out all over the place so we can reorganize and get our summer stuff out and swim trunks and stupid stuff that we ain't gonna be using in five degree or such weather let's just dive into this there's a real fine art to just jamming everything in this Small little cabinet here. Ho Hannah's bag fits because we put that in first. Now we just <laughs> got to see if my bag will slide in there. Let's see. Back in my younger days, I used to play tackle football. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's how you get that in there. It worked. At least the camera's still standing. That lens looks dirty. <gasps> Peekaboo. Oh, hello. Yeah, now you can see. We're back. Day 14. Two weeks into our journey around the country. We're in Washington, about to journey through Idaho into Butte, Montana. Land there, sleep for the night, and then hop back on the road to Salt Lake City. Hopefully tonight we're gonna find a campground or something in that area to stay in. Should be good. Definitely a windy day. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. The <laughs> flags are going nuts in the background, so that's always good. But hopefully it doesn't kill our fuel mileage today. Let's get to it. Back to the channel day 15 woke up this morning in butte montana 
ice on the windshield. We're gonna let this Johnson warm up and hopefully defrost this area. Should should defrost fine. Just give it a quick five and then we're on our way to Salt Lake City. Let's go. Thanks for watching. We landed here in Salt Lake City at a decent time so we can get some rest. We got a long drive ahead of us tomorrow. Hopefully gonna end up in the Denver area. Got a beautiful view here at this Elks. Very nice place. Gonna hopefully play some bingo tonight. You know, we're definitely gonna lose bingo too, but at least we had fun. <laughs> Trying to save some of the camper propane for the heating factor of the camper. So we're here with these little bottles using our RVQ grill the safe way with the pot in here trying to boil some water for some pasta. And then we'll put our meatballs in there and the Miss Hannah over here doesn't like uh, tomato sauce. So we're going to be doing an Alfredo sauce with uh, meatballs and spaghetti right <laughs> all right let's get it not too chilly out here but chilly enough thanks to this guy over here leaf blowing it's very windy so we're gonna put this nice piece of tin foil over the pasta it's cooking nice it's doing well hopefully get that back on there it's that leaf blower that's making all the wind for sure i know this isn't the right way to cook pasta at all but this is definitely how we're going to do it to save some propane for the camper heat because we definitely need the camper to stay warmer than we need this pasta to be hot fast. We got a small drip ski from the hot water heater when we got water into it. I think it's because that we have like a nut on there and it's not tight enough so I'm going to have to get in there and tighten it a smidge. But other than that, this whole unit has been a gem. These seals are holding up nice. I should probably do these front ones because they're uh, a little sus-tastic. We've been lucky with dry weather, so it's not a big deal. Got my grandfather and grandmother's license plate up here. Very nice. Looks very good. But yeah, this thing just got smoked bugs and sand and such not good not good this vent got a little cooked so I used the good stuff on it at least like it's still pretty cooked let's try to close that oh no I don't want to close anymore yeah I'm gonna go with the this vent's cooked I need a new door on that whole back of this thing just cooked dirty these trailer tires are doing a lot better than I expected and we still have a spare which is very nice knock on wood and all nice I feel better about it this thing pushes out some heat it's like a fireplace but not really pasta came out very good basically finished I'm gonna let it go for like two more minutes and it should be all done very nice almost didn't have enough sauce now we definitely have enough sauce we got our sauce on there now we're gonna add seasonings <laughs> Hannah requested some cheese. We got mozzarella and cheddar. You know the deal, brothers. We're gonna toss that in.
like meatballs and the sauce. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Doing it in Alfredo sauce is incorrect anyway, but. Day 16 on the road again. Going from Utah, Salt Lake City area, to Denver, Colorado area. Not really sure where we're gonna land yet. Hannah already has that all lined up. She's in charge of that. We're just gonna drive, unfortunately, 80s clothes going through Wyoming. So instead of adding two hours to our trip, which is already obnoxiously long, we're just gonna cut through Utah. We're not gonna go the whole Wyoming route. If it wanted to bring us up to Idaho, Wyoming, it would have been not good. Not good. So we're off. We got about seven hours left. Let's get it. A lot less windy today, really helping out with the fuel mileage. We might get a little over five hours to this tank, which would be nice. And then we only got like two hours left after that. It said services in the next 65 miles. So hopefully in the next 65 miles we'll eat up, fuel up, and finish the route to Denver-ish area. Utah has been beautiful. A lot of mountain ranges, a lot of different type of geography that we weren't used to. Also in Utah, Hannah and I spotted our first antelope. That's a new experience. The real way to make an eight hour drive go by snappy is driving eight hours straight. Every time you stop, you're just adding an hour. It's gonna make it longer and more painful. If you just drive through and only stop for gas and necessities, you're set. Just before, Hannah was like, hey, I'm hungry. All right, she didn't say it like that. She was like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. Ugh. So I went back and made a peanut butter jelly sandwich while you were driving. You don't stop to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You keep moving. That would be wasting time. And you roll down the window if you don't like the smell of peanut butter. You don't just like stop and get out the vehicle. <laughs> you deal with it. Denver mountains, not fun. A lot of brakes. Denver traffic, not fun. A lot of brakes. Brakes are not happy at the moment at all. And we only have like eight miles left. So hopefully these people will keep going and stop hitting their brakes every five seconds and we'll get to where we need to go without getting into an accident. We all know to hate these vents here because right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see. The washer like thing that goes on there broke off and this vent was just flapping there. You know that's good when it's raining and all this rain is gonna come down and get all your clothes and your your nice vacuum all wet. That's never good. So I used the safety tape. I might do a second layer of safety tape just to be safe. And throw that vent back in and that problem's fixed. I'm laying here under the camper next to my beautiful assistant and this exhaust likes to fall off constantly so I took my Persuasion Tanya Hart in there and just tapped her into place and then tightened the actual beep out of this clamp here. Hopefully it'll stay and won't be dangling down the road again. And then unfortunately we lost our exhaust tip as well, which is another unfortunate turn of events, but maybe I'll just put like some chrome AutoZone fancy one on there. Hannah and I are back with another segment of cooking on an RVQ grill. Today we're cooking chicken on the RVQ grill, good amount. And then we're cooking rice. In a bag on the stove here gonna waste some propane you know the deal we're gonna be savages and maybe fill up once or twice we're outside at this rbq grill we're gonna keep it quiet so the camping host doesn't get salty spider-man up in here <laughs> she'll get in here. Just like 
trash. She'll know it's from us. She'll have her DNA on it. <laughs> She'll get it swab tested. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to light this RV grill. You can hear it. And then it's lit. Yeah, almost done. It's a little windy. It's been windy majority of this trip. <laughs> It's either a natural wind or a leaf blowers. Yeah, <laughs> the leaf blowers will get you. I'm gonna let that get warm before we toss the chicken on there. My tongues are a little dirty today. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah threw in the rice. <laughs> Not my problem. I'm worried about the chick on. Do oh, I thought you were just putting it on the, with the bag. We're pre-seasoned. <laughs> These chickens are pre-seasoned, so we're just tossing them on right out the bag. Makes it easier. Oops, slippery. I'm gonna use the tongs <laughs> so we don't lose any. Very nice. Very nice. They do look very good. Hopefully. The one propane bottle ran out, so I put the new one on. And we're running off that now. Now it's actually cooking the chicken. I'm gonna use the tongs. Wind's been blowing quite hard. So we're gonna take these off because I swapped them. These were here, these were here. I'm taking these off. Wrapping up day 17, we landed here in Grand Falls Casino Resort, whatever. We're at the RV area. Hannah's here directing me over here in the corner. Hi. You got the trailer. Of course, everything fell apart in the trailer, so we had to reorganize that. That's a mess. You don't even want to know. The exhaust tip's still missing. Still can't find that. The generator exhaust is still holding on, which is nice. The flag... Today, it, it took a turn for the worse. So we're gonna pull that off. And I was thinking about putting it on the back door here, just so it's not gonna get ripped on everything. And then I'll just fly this flag. I don't tread on me one. Tape this off, cause I think this is what turned this one in. And I'll put my black American flag up there. This Grand Falls Casino is a very nice place. This site has full hookups, except for water because it's at that cold time of year. So we just have power and sewer. And yeah, don't worry, we're not gonna sewer at night when it's cold. The tires look a little flat, but we're just gonna, for them, it's fine. The hubs on the trailer are starting to go. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick this up, but. Probably not. It's shaking. Not good. Otherwise, these laminated piece of papers holding up nice. I had to draw on them I'm like a third grader. Otherwise, holding together. Not a bad setup. Day 18, back on the road. We stayed at that nice casino last night. Wasn't too bad. Woke up early. Not just for the view, we have to get to the truck stop at a decent hour so all the spots aren't taken. But we're going to that Iowa 80 world's largest truck stop. Landed here in Iowa. We're at the world's largest truck stop in Iowa. Camper's filthy. <laughs> uh, the car wash here is closed because uh, Easter, so happy Easter. But 
Yep, camper made it, one piece, just filthy. But we're gonna check out the inside. Hopefully bring you guys with us. Let's get it. 